This is the phone that will beat every other flagship phone out there. This, my friends, is the Vivo X60, co-engineered with Zeiss. If you don't know this brand yet, Zeiss is a German company that makes optics. They make very high quality mirrorless cameras, lenses, optics in general. And as you can see, we have here a huge lens, probably a Zeiss lens. I have been waiting for this phone for quite some time now, like since it was released way back January. Well, that's because I'm a camera guy. I love cameras. And with the announcement of Vivo partnering with Zeiss, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so epic. I already know that Vivo phones have really good cameras, but partnering up with Zeiss, whoa, that's totally on a different level already. They have added some really nice colors here, bokeh algorithms and things like that. I have seen the pictures on this from other review sites and it really blew my mind. So me reviewing it right now is just a dream come true. And get this, it's not only good in pictures, it is also very powerful. It has a Snapdragon 870 processor. Saw the Antutu benchmark on this. Pretty big stuff inside this phone. So yeah, let's check it out. I'm so excited to unbox the Vivo X60. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. All right, here we go. The big black box, just like the Vivo X50 Pro last year. A very premium looking box. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I got here at 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Here's the first look. Inside, we got here X60 Vivo. This is just a cardboard, by the way. There's your phone and, oh, kind of familiar. The design kind of looks like the Vivo X50 Pro last year. And we've got here the jelly kit. No, it's a hard case. Oh, nice. And look, it does not have some at the side. Pretty thin, pretty light. And we've got here the, what is this? SIM ejector pin. We also got the important information and warranty card. We got the quick start guide and the product technical specifications. There you go. Here is the USB type C cable. There you go. Here is the charger. I was hoping for a faster charging speed, like 50 watts, but yeah, it's still using the same charger from last year. 33 watts, Vivo flash charge 2.0. And last but not least is a pair of high quality earphones that comes with a microphone. All right. And what is this? Oh, it comes with a replacement covers for the earphones there you go and last but not least is a headphone jack dongle oh and that's pretty much it all right now this is not all Zeiss branding if you look closely it actually has different colors that is Zeiss colors my friends it's not saturated not too contrasty kind of looks professional that is the keyword it looks very close to their mirrorless cameras totally high quality so yeah if you compare this to the Vivo X50 last year you will see a major difference in terms of the color and also the bokeh Check this portrait picture out. With the portrait mode, there is what you call a background blur. Now, this is not brand new. Bokeh is pretty much everywhere in the smartphone scene, but what this does is truly magnificent. If you look closely, the background blur is just so, so real. Most smartphones are kind of faking the background blur a bit because of the software, but this one, no. This definitely looks like a real bokeh or bokeh, whatever. And the separation between the foreground and background is pretty, pretty much perfect. Almost there. I mean, just look at those edges. The cutout is pretty much on point. And yeah, the subject is pretty, pretty sharp. Yeah, if you show this to your friend, they might think it was captured by a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Another is the low light capabilities of this phone. Man, the cameras on this thing is just so powerful. Even at pitch dark scenes, it is able to capture pretty much everything in detail with little to no noise. This is what they call the extreme night vision. This is their new night mode, and it looks like the updates for this application has been tremendously improved. Wow, that's a major difference right there. The night mode also supports panorama, which is useful when you're capturing streets at night, buildings with nice, bright, colorful lights. And by the way, the night mode has some filters to it too. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is going to be really useful for your creativity. Here is the sample video. Oh, by the way, I was not expecting this. The video can go all the way up to 4K 60 frames per second. Like, wow. But then 1080p at 30 frames per second is still the best looking image quality wise and also the most stabilized oh by the way there are two modes of stabilization right here which is standard stabilization and ultra stable the main difference is that ultra stable is a lot more stable but crops in pretty much look at that crop but i think for most applications standard stabilization is already good i mean if you're just walking around doing some vlogging i think this is already good now if you're running or doing some action stuff like skateboarding now in terms of the image quality in the video this has got to be the most beautiful i guess most editable looking video because I mean look at it most phones just bump up the colors add some contrast in the video but right here it looks kind of flat don't you agree and with this in the post processing I can actually do some more and make it look something that that is fitting for an actual scene I can make it more cinematic more dramatic or action-packed if I wanted to 
probably the best vlogging phone around. If you were impressed with the Vivo X50 last year, which was one of the best vlogging phones ever released, then this probably is, currently is, the best right now. Like, the successor of the Vivo X50, and dare say, I would vlog on this pretty much all the time. Well, speaking of vlogging, I was able to vlog with its 32 MP. Only problem is that it's too close, you know? Those are the major problems of selfie cameras, by the way, although the color is still there. It looks sharp, the beautification is there, so you don't have to do some makeup. So yeah, if you're into vlogging, then this is your thing. Go buy it now, like right now. now I'm gonna show you some more of these settings right here in a future full review but then a lot of you might be asking how fast is this phone well for a phone that has a snapdragon 870 processor it is kind of super fast look, look at this good reasons look how smooth that is let me just go to the facebook let me just swipe right here oh look at how fast that is oh by the way this is a 120 hertz refresh rate display that is why it's so smooth when you're like swiping around there you go Ooh, open this Boom. Instant. Oh, wow. That is quite fast. So in terms of launching apps, browsing and Facebook and pretty much everything that's light, it's going to be a breeze for the phone. But in terms of gaming, here is... Oh. As you can see, it's not really that lagging. It's pretty smooth on Mobile Legends. Also, the character is just so sharp. Look at the model. Pretty nice. I like the colors. Oh, by the way, uh, the graphics is kind of enhanced because of the AMOLED display. That is right. This phone is sporting a 1080p. AMOLED display that has a 120 hertz refresh rate. Oh, nice. So yeah, if you're waiting for the League of Legends 120 hertz refresh rate update, well, this phone has got you covered. Look at that, very smooth. Oh, I'm gonna battle Paquito. Whoa, what the? Oh, come on. Mm. I'm so good. Now we can't show you the settings yet because that will be on our full review. But so far, in terms of the gaming experience, oh, that is quite nice. Oh, by the way, the display is flat. It's not rounded or curved. It does have a punch hole, but it's not really that noticeable in game although it's quite noticeable if the background is white it's pretty big now here's call of duty oh look at that look how smooth that is oh whoo. you could easily mistake this for a pc game just look how smooth that is how detailed that is everything from the sky the gun everything just looks spectacular the way i'm zooming in and firing like that again i can't say the settings right here because that's going to be in our full review but then the settings are pretty high i'm telling you right now it's almost complete just can't show you right now well actually there's a lot of things that i can't show you yet like Genshin Impact, the battery test, and pretty much all the features from the camera. All of that in my full review and also the camera review for this phone. But so far, in terms of the design, the performance, and also the camera, it's unmatched right now. Pretty much on the league, or maybe even better than the likes of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, Samsung's flagship phones, and Huawei's flagships, I think. If you want to see the full review of the Vivo X60 and also the price, and also a comparison between this and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All you need to do is subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. This is really exciting stuff. So yeah, please, please do stick around. This is Vince Demigro from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.